Yang Mills theory is a gauge theory based on the SU -N group, or more generally any compact, reductive Lie algebra. Yang Mills theory seeks to describe the behavior of elementary particles using these non abelian Lie groups and is at the core of the unification of the electromagnetic force and weak forces, i.e., U times SU as well as quantum chromodynamics, the theory of the strong force based on SU. Thus, it forms the basis of our understanding of the standard model of particle physics. History and theoretical description In a private correspondence, Wolfgang Pauli formulated in 1953 a six-dimensional theory of Einstein's field equations of general relativity, extending the five-dimensional theory of Kaluza, Klein, Fock and others to a higher dimensional internal space. However, there is no evidence that Pauli developed the Lagrangian of a gauge field or the quantization of it. Because Pauli found that his theory leads to some rather unphysical shadow particles, he refrained from publishing his results formally. Although Pauli did not publish his six dimensional theory, he gave two talks about it in Zurich. Recent research shows that an extended Kaluza Klein theory is in general not equivalent to Yang Mills theory, as the former contains additional terms. In early 1954, Chen Ning Yang and Robert Mills extended the concept of gauge theory for abelian groups, e.g., quantum electrodynamics, to non abelian groups to provide an explanation for strong interactions. The idea by Yang Mills was criticized by Pauli, as the quanta of the Yang Mills field must be massless in order to maintain gauge invariance. The idea was set aside until 1960, when the concept of particles acquiring mass through symmetry breaking in massless theories was put forward, initially by Jeffrey Goldstone, Yoichiro Nambu, and Giovanni Jonah Licinio. This prompted a significant restart of Young Mills theory studies that proved successful in the formulation of both electroweak unification and quantum chromodynamics QCD. The electroweak interaction is described by SU times U group while QCD is an SU Yang Mills theory. The electroweak theory is obtained by combining SU with U where quantum electrodynamics QED is described by a U group, and is replaced in the unified electroweak theory by a U group representing a weak hypercharge rather than electric charge. The massless bosons from the SU times U theory mix after spontaneous symmetry breaking to produce the three massive weak bosons, and the photon field. The standard model combines the strong interaction with the unified electroweak interaction unifying the weak and electromagnetic interaction through the symmetry group SU times U times SU in the current epoch the strong interaction is not unified with the electroweak interaction, but from the observed running of the coupling constants it is believed they all converge to a single value at very high energies. Phenomenology at lower energies in quantum chromodynamics is not completely understood due to the difficulties of managing such a theory with a strong coupling. This may be the reason why confinement has not been theoretically proven, though it is a consistent experimental observation. Proof that QCD confines at low energy is a mathematical problem of great relevance, and an award has been proposed by the Clay Mathematics Institute for whoever is also able to show that the Young Mills theory has a mass gap and its existence. Mathematical overview Young Mills theories are a special example of gauge theory with a non abelian symmetry group given by the Lagrangian L G F equals minus one two T R F two equals minus one four F A mu New F mu new a display style math call L underscore mathem GF equals frac 1 2 operator name TR F carrot 2 equals frac 1 4 F carrot of mu new F underscore mu new carrot a with the generators of the Lie algebra, indexed by a corresponding to the F quantities, the curvature or field strength form satisfying. T R T A T B equals 
1 2 delta a b t a t b equals i f a b c t c Display style operator name T R T carrot A T carrot B equals F R A C one two delta carrot ab quad T carrot A T carrot B equals if carrot A B C T carrot C where the F A B C are structure constants of the Lie algebra, and the covariant derivative defined as D mu equals I mu minus I G T A A mu a display style d underscore mu equals i partial underscore mu i g t caret a a underscore mu caret a, where i is the identity matrix matching the size of the generators a mu a display style a underscore mu caret a is the vector potential, and g is the coupling constant. In four dimensions, the coupling constant g is a pure number and for a SU n group one has a b c equals 1 n 2 minus 1 display style a b c equals 1 l dots n caret 2 minus 1 the relation F mu nu a equals mu a nu a minus nu a mu a plus g f a b c a mu b a new C display style F underscore mu new carrot a equals partial underscore mu a underscore new carrot a partial underscore new a underscore mu carrot a plus GF carrot a B C a underscore mu carrot B a underscore new carrot C can be derived by the commutator D mu D new equals Minus I G T A F mu nu a display style d underscore mu d underscore nu equals I G T caret A F underscore mu nu caret a. The field has the property of being self-interacting, and equations of motion that one obtains are said to be semilinear, as nonlinearities are both with and without derivatives. This means that one can manage this theory only by perturbation theory, with small nonlinearities. Note that the transition between upper contravariant and lower covariant vector or tensor components is trivial for a indices, e.g. F A B C equals F A B C display style f caret a b c equals f underscore a b c. Whereas for mu and nu, it is non-trivial, corresponding, e.g., to the usual Lorentz signature. Eta mu nu equals d i a g plus minus 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 Display style eta underscore mu nu equals erm diag plus. From the given Lagrangian, one can derive the equations of motion given by mu f mu nu a plus g f a b c a mu b f mu nu c equals 0 
Display style partial carrot mu f underscore mu nu carrot a plus g f carrot a b c a carrot mu b f underscore mu nu carrot c equals zero. Putting f mu nu equals t a f mu nu a Display style f underscore mu nu equals t caret a f underscore mu nu caret a. These can be rewritten as d mu f mu nu a equals zero. Display style d caret mu f underscore mu nu caret a equals zero. A Bianchi identity holds d mu f nu kappa a plus d kappa f mu nu a plus d nu f kappa mu a equals 0 Display style D underscore mu F underscore new kappa carrot a plus D underscore kappa F underscore mu new carrot a plus D underscore new F underscore kappa mu carrot a equals zero which is equivalent to the Jacobi identity D mu D new D kappa plus D kappa D mu D nu plus D nu D kappa D mu equals zero. Display style D underscore mu D underscore nu D underscore kappa plus D underscore kappa D underscore mu D underscore nu plus D underscore nu D underscore kappa D underscore mu equals zero since D mu F nu kappa O equals D mu F New kappa a display style d underscore mu f underscore new kappa caret a equals d underscore mu f underscore new kappa caret a. Define the dual strength tensor f tilde mu new equals one two epsilon mu new rho Sigma F Rho Sigma Display style tilde F carrot mu nu equals FRAC one two var epsilon carrot mu nu rho sigma F underscore rho sigma. Then the Bianchi identity can be rewritten as D mu F tilde mu nu equals zero. Display style d underscore mu tilde f caret mu nu equals zero. A source j mu a display style j underscore mu caret a enters into the equations of motion as mu f mu nu a plus g f a B C A B mu F mu nu C equals minus J nu a Display style partial carrot mu f underscore mu nu carrot a plus g f carrot a b c a carrot b mu f underscore mu nu carrot c equals j underscore nu carrot a. Note that the currents must properly change under gauge group transformations. We give here some comments about the physical dimensions of the coupling. In d dimensions, the field scales as a equals 
l 2 minus d 2 display style equals l caret frac 2d 2 and so the coupling must scale as g 2 equals l d minus 4 display style g caret 2 equals l caret d 4 this implies that yang mills theory is not renormalizable for dimensions greater than 4 furthermore for d equals 4 the coupling is dimensionless and both the field and the square of the coupling have the same dimensions of the field and the coupling of a massless quartic scalar field theory so these theories share the scale invariance at the classical level equals topic quantization equals a method of quantizing the yang mills theory is by functional methods ie path integrals one introduces a generating functional for endpoint functions as z j equals d a exp minus i 2 d 4 x tr f mu nu f mu nu plus i d 4 x j mu a x a a mu x Display style z j equals int da exp left frac i two int d caret four x operator name tr f caret mu nu f underscore mu nu plus i int d caret four x j underscore mu caret a x a caret a mu x right. But this integral has no meaning as it is because the potential vector can be arbitrarily chosen due to the gauge freedom. This problem was already known for quantum electrodynamics but here becomes more severe due to non-abelian properties of the gauge group. A way out has been given by Ludwig Fadiv and Viktor Popov with the introduction of a ghost field see Fadiv -Popov ghost that has the property of being unphysical since, although it agrees with Fermi-Dirac statistics, it is a complex scalar field, which violates the spin statistics theorem. So, we can write the generating functional as z j Epsilon Epsilon equals D A D C D C EXP I S F A A plus I S G F A plus I S G C C C C A EXP I D four X J mu A X A A mu X plus i d 4 x c a x epsilon a x plus Epsilon A X C A X display style begin aligned Z J bar var epsilon var epsilon and equals int da D bar C D C E X P left is underscore F partial A A plus I S underscore G F partial A plus I S underscore G partial C partial bar C C bar C A right and E X P left I int D carrot four X J underscore mu carrot A X A carrot of mu X plus I int D 
caret four x bar C caret A x var epsilon caret A x plus bar var epsilon caret A x C caret A x right end aligned being SF equals minus one two D four x T R F mu nu F mu nu display style S underscore F equals F R A C one two int operator name D caret four x operator name T R F caret mu nu F underscore mu nu for the field S G F equals minus one two she d four x a two display style s underscore g f equals frac one two she int operator name d caret four x partial c d o t a caret two for the gauge fixing and s g equals minus d four x c a mu mu c a plus g c a f a b c mu a b mu c c Display style s underscore g equals int operator name d caret four x bar c caret a partial underscore mu partial caret mu c caret a plus g bar c caret a f caret a b c partial underscore mu a caret b mu c caret c for the ghost. This is the expression commonly used to derive Feynman's rules. See Feynman diagram. Here we have CA for the ghost field while she fixes the gauge's choice for the quantization. Feynman's rules obtained from this functional are the following. These rules for Feynman diagrams can be obtained when the generating functional given above is rewritten as Z J Epsilon Epsilon equals EXP minus I G D Four x delta i delta epsilon a x f a b c mu i delta delta j mu b x i delta Delta Epsilon C X times EXP minus I G D four X F A B C mu I Delta Delta J nu a x i delta delta j mu b x i delta delta j c nu x times exp minus i g two Four D four X F A B C F A R S I Delta Delta J Mu B X I Delta Delta J new C X I Delta Delta J R mu X I delta delta J S new X times Z zero J epsilon epsilon display style begin aligned Z J bar var epsilon var epsilon and equals E X P left I G int D carrot four X F R A C delta I delta bar var epsilon carrot A X F carrot A B C partial underscore mu F R A C I delta delta J underscore mu carrot B X F R A C I delta delta var epsilon 
caret c x right and q quad times exp left i g int d caret four x f caret a b c partial underscore mu frac i delta delta j underscore new caret a x frac i delta delta j underscore mu caret b x frac i delta delta j caret c new x right and q quad q quad times exp left i frac g caret two four in d caret four x f caret a b c f caret a r s frac i d LTA delta J underscore mu carrot B x frac I delta delta J underscore new carrot C x frac I delta delta J carrot R mu x frac I delta delta J carrot s new x right and Q quad Q quad Q quad times Z underscore zero J bar var epsilon var epsilon and aligned with Z zero J epsilon epsilon equals exp minus D four x D four Y epsilon A X C A B X minus Y epsilon B Y EXP one two D four X D four Y J mu A X D A B mu new X Minus Y J new B Y Display style Z underscore zero J bar var epsilon var epsilon equals exp left int d carrot four x d carrot four y bar var epsilon carrot a x c carrot ab x y var epsilon carrot b y right exp left tfrac one two int d carrot four x d carrot four y j underscore mu carrot a x d carrot ab mu new x y j underscore new carrot b y right being the generating functional of the free theory. Expanding in G and computing the functional derivatives, we are able to obtain all the endpoint functions with perturbation theory. Using LSZ reduction formula we get from the endpoint functions the corresponding process amplitudes, cross sections and decay rates. The theory is renormalizable and corrections are finite at any order of perturbation theory. For quantum electrodynamics the ghost field decouples because the gauge group is abelian. This can be seen from the coupling between the gauge field and the ghost field that is C A F A B C mu A B mu C C Display style bar C carrot A F carrot A B C partial underscore mu A carrot B mu C carrot C for the abelian case, all the structure constants f a b c display style f caret a b c are zero, and so there is no coupling. In the non-abelian case, the ghost field appears as a useful way to rewrite the quantum field theory without physical consequences on the observables of the theory, such as cross sections or decay rates. One of the most important results obtained for Yang-Mills theory is asymptotic freedom. This result can be obtained by assuming that the coupling constant G is small so small nonlinearities, as for high energies, and applying perturbation theory. The relevance of this result is due to the fact that a Yang-Mills theory that describes strong interaction and asymptotic freedom permits proper treatment of experimental results coming from deep inelastic scattering. To obtain the behavior of the Yang-Mills theory at high energies, and so to prove asymptotic freedom, one applies perturbation theory assuming a small coupling. This is verified a posteriori in the ultraviolet limit. In the opposite limit, the infrared limit, the situation is the opposite, as the coupling is too large for perturbation theory to be reliable. Most of the difficulties that research meets is just managing the theory at low energies. That is the interesting case, being inherent to the description of hadronic matter and, more generally, to all the observed bound states of gluons and quarks and their confinement see hadrons. The most used method to study the theory in this limit is to try to solve it on computers see lattice gauge theory. In this case, large computational resources are needed to be sure the correct limit of infinite volume smaller lattice spacing is obtained. This is the limit the results must be compared with. 
smaller spacing and larger coupling are not independent of each other, and larger computational resources are needed for each. As of today, the situation appears somewhat satisfactory for the hadronic spectrum and the computation of the gluon and ghost propagators, but the glueball and hybrid spectra are yet a questioned matter in view of the experimental observation of such exotic states. Indeed, the sigma resonance is not seen in any of such lattice computations and contrasting interpretations have been put forward. This is a hotly debated issue. Open problems Yang-Mills theories met with general acceptance in the physics community after Gerard T. Hooft, in 1972, worked out their renormalization, relying on a formulation of the problem worked out by his advisor Martinus Veltman. Their work was recognized by the 1999 Nobel Prize in Physics. Renormalizability is obtained even if the gauge bosons described by this theory are massive, as in the electroweak theory, provided the mass is only an acquired one, generated by the Higgs mechanism. The mathematics of the Yang-Mills theory is a very active field of research, yielding e.g. invariants of differentiable structures on four-dimensional manifolds via work of Simon Donaldson. Furthermore, the field of Yang-Mills theories was included in the Clay Mathematics Institute's list of Millennium Prize Problems. Here the prize problem consists, especially, in a proof of the conjecture that the lowest excitations of a pure Yang-Mills theory i.e. without matter fields have a finite mass gap with regard to the vacuum state. Another open problem, connected with this conjecture, is a proof of the confinement property in the presence of additional fermion particles. In physics the survey of Yang-Mills theories does not usually start from perturbation analysis or analytical methods, but more recently from systematic application of numerical methods to lattice gauge theories. <laughs> See also